Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have every single LEGO Jurassic Park 2023 30th anniversary set to share with you guys in this full wave review type of video featuring the following set number 76957, the Velociraptor Escape, 76958, the Dilophosaurus Ambush, 76959, the Triceratops Research, dot dot dot. 76960, the Branchiosaurus Discovery, and lastly, 76961, the Jurassic Park Visitor Center, T-Rex, and Raptor Attack. Now, everything you see here actually adds up to be worth $409.95 Canadian at retail, so it is quite the expensive wave for what we're getting, which is quite unfortunate there. I don't really see almost $410 worth of Lego in front of me, to be honest. I think it's probably the dinosaurs that increase the value there, specifically the Branchiosaurus, the T-Rex, and the Triceratops. So basically in this video, I'll be reviewing all the sets and sharing with you guys my general thoughts and impression on the wave. So without further ado, let's get into it. So right here we have a look at the very first set, the Triceratops research one, and right off the bat, the star of the show, let's just kick those guys out of the way is of course the Triceratops with its four legs and its really cool body there along with its amazing horns now honestly I'm always blown away by the details on these dinosaur big figs and this here is obviously no exception I mean look at that the belly is this different shade compared to the legs and the spots here are very well designed I just love how this looks here and the Triceratops can also move its head up and down which is a very fun play feature so he can basically nod at you Hey, how's it going? Or he can stand, so let's try that. Well, I guess not, but you guys get the point. The legs can also move like this. That's pretty much it for the Triceratops in the set. And of course, next up we have the car. This car is pretty cool. I think it's my favorite Jurassic Park car out of the wave because I love the lime green used for it. The red used for it is also very cool. And this here is actually a sticker, so that's a little bit annoying. The wheels are actually pretty awesome. They're actually printed, so that is nice to see. And of course, the roof can open. So you just pull this thing off, be a little gentle with it. And then you just put your minifigure in the driver's seat like so, so that is cool. And you can close it up like this. So there we have it, the car. This is very cool. I like it. It kind of looks like a Jeep. So yeah, I love Jeeps. And right here we have this little side build. If you open it like this, you got some cherries. This is the first cherry and the other cherry. It's all to bait the Triceratops. And yeah, as for the minifigures, first up we have Dr. Ian, which looks pretty cool with the torso there. I love it. And at the very back, we have some back printing. The alternate face printing features him smiling and his confused and puzzled face, which I prefer. <laughs> Bringing back the getaway car, we have Dr. Ellie. So that's very nice to see in a set like this, both of the doctors trying to take care of the Triceratops and trying to research it. So that is pretty fantastic to see. She has a really nice torso. I love that so much. I love all the dirt there, how it's tied up at the very bottom. The detail is spectacular. The leg piece is also quite nice with some printing there. And at the very back, she has a bunch of dirt increases. So yeah, she also has an alternate face printing where she looks very worried. The hair used for her, in my opinion, is honestly fantastic. I love it so much. And these are basically both of the minifigs in the set. Now that we have this set out of the way, let's take a look at the very next set, which is the Velociraptor Escape set. So right here we have a look at the 4 plus Jurassic Park set, which I believe is the least exciting set out of the wave. Simply because it's 4 plus, it's overpriced, and the pieces are very huge and chunky. I don't like that shade of blue. Please take that away from me. I absolutely am not a fan of that shade of blue. I love navy, I just don't like that. And I don't like how there's primary colors used here, like the red and the yellow. I mean, technically right here we have the entire primary color palette which isn't too flattering to have on display and obviously rightfully so because this is for children aged four and up. 
As for the minifigs, we have the following. I love his torso here and the leg piece. He has some shorts. I guess this is probably the main minifig that people are after. And I guess the primary business of action um, of acquiring this set here for adults because, you know, getting a unique minifig like him is pretty cool. And of course we have Dr. Ellie just sitting in her car. She's always in a car, so that's pretty funny. And yeah, she's pretty generic. She has almost the exact same torso and legs that we literally just saw the triceratops set which is this one right here i mean look at that the exact same torso exact same legs just a different hair piece and this hair piece is actually less rare than this one so yeah now the velociraptor i think is pretty decent i like how his arms move how his legs move as well and the flesh the color of his skin there quite cool his mouth can open and close so let's test that out yeah i guess if we tried having it bite me Oh, oops. <laughs> it's a velociraptor. It looks like a velociraptor. It moves like a velociraptor. It is a velociraptor. Surprise. And this here is a little car with a hot dog, so that is very funny. It is obviously super simple, but effective, I guess. <laughs> In the eyes of children, at least, aged four and up. And lastly, we have the build for the set itself. Again, very simple. We just have this electric sign. A thing here which actually falls off at will so I'm gonna try and put it back it's a little gate I'm pretty sure that most of you guys watching this video will not be picking this up for full price at least so yeah <laughs> okay, there's like a green plate there which is in the lime green color uh, dinosaur droppings I guess the coolest thing about this set is this little feature where you can lower the bucket with this chain so that's a nice little feature to teach children very cool to see there but apart from that, I have no interest in this set. And right here we have this little egg on this pedestal of sorts, and it seems like the dinosaur is right about to come out of the little egg and see the world for the first time. So that is very cute. Apart from that, I have nothing else to say about this set, so let's move on to the very next set in the video. The Dilophosaurus Ambush. So right here we have a look at the Dilophosaurus Ambush set, which is literally just a car again, which I think is pretty nice. I mean, I love Jeeps and vehicles like this, so it's right up my alley. I like the car. I, li I like the wheels there. I like the front. It says JP12 and Jurassic Park on the side, along with the 12 there and a wheel that just hangs out. Now this can move quite nicely, so you can move it back and forth, back and forth, all around, do whatever you want with it essentially. And at the top there, you can see the little sides of the vehicle. The same thing is recurring on this side, so that is pretty cool to see. And you could remove this entire thing and obviously house your minifigure. As for the minifigure, I think it's quite funny with the Jurassic Park logo, the vest, the jacket, the face printing, which is very cool. At the back, we have these face printing once again with him sweating quite violently. <laughs> and of course we have the little hood at the back. And in general, pretty cool minifigure. I think it's probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite minifigure, out of this entire Jurassic Park wave. And back to the main purpose of the vehicle, you can take your minifigure and have them sit there. So yeah, there we have it. Very cool to see. So let's just close it up. As for that, I mean, it's a car and cars are cool. So yeah. Next up, we have some foliage and a sign that says East dock so basically the sign can point anywhere because you can rotate it so it can point north south east west you know you name it it can literally point in a very arbitrary direction so it's up to you there i also really like this barbasol it adds a nice touch to the set and allows you to play around and remake the scene there and that's pretty much it for the foliage it's pretty straightforward and you can remove the sign lastly we have the dilophosaurus which i think is pretty disappointing i mean you can't move its legs or its arms or anything. You can just move the mouth up and down. So that's a little bit annoying in my opinion. I mean, comparing it to a Velociraptor, for instance, the Velociraptor can move its arms and they're approximately the same height. I mean, kind of, not really, but my point is it would have been cool to have these joints move around like this. That would have been a lot better. The playability is very limited as a result. So let's move on to the next set. So right here we have a look at the Discovery Center T-Rex versus Velociraptor dual set, which I think looks really cool. However, I don't think it's worth the $170 Canadian price point, which I think is completely absurd for this. 
First up, we have a look at the minifigures. Now from left to right, we have Lex, and then we have Tim, and then we have Ellie Sattler, we have Alan, we have Ray Arnold, and lastly, Dr. Wu. Now, if you take a look at their torsos there, they're all pretty much brand new and unique. I especially like Ray Arnold's torso there with the tie. Very cool to see. And I guess that's pretty much the best minifigure out of the batch. Taking a look at their back printing and face prints though, we've got some pretty generic face prints there, nothing too special. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the minifigures. As for the set itself, first off we have the baby Velociraptor, which I think is again very well done. I love the color on this thing with the gray and the dark brown. I feel like it complements the Velociraptor quite well. And honestly, it's kind of annoying to see that we have the exact same Velociraptor featured in the 4 plus set so what do you know <laughs> this is actually from the velociraptor escape set and because they're the exact same thing i can literally just switch them and be like hey you know what the velociraptor from the 4 plus set is now the velociraptor in the discovery center so it would have been nice to get something brand new considering that the set is so expensive already so that is a bit of a bummer there and right here we have the skeleton of the t-rex which i think is kind of wonky it isn't really accurate and it seems very weak in my opinion. All the joints are kind of flimsy and I just don't like how fragile it is, you know? Like, what are the odds of finding gray and dark bluish gray within an actual skeleton of a T-Rex? It's kind of awkward. And this is what really makes me angry. The blue <laughs> near the jaw. The blue just... Ugh doesn't even fit in it would have been a lot better to get like light gray there instead that would have made sense or even black to be honest anything but a blue pin on a skeleton please this is so weird in my opinion and lastly we have a look at the t-rex and i think the t-rex is probably the star of the set like, if you want to get the set for any reason, get it for the T-Rex. I mean, look at all the printing on it, the little scars, the pattern. It's pretty well done. The mouth here, nice. The eyes are pretty cool. And you can move the legs as well. So yeah, I can see this thing becoming pretty rare in the future. So look for clearance, honestly. I would pay like $90 maximum if this was a clearance item. I don't see it being worth 170 Canadian by any means, in my opinion. And those are pretty much my thoughts on Rexy here. Last but not least, we have the actual Discovery Center, which I think is not very good in my opinion. I mean, look at that. We have windows, so that's fine and dandy. You know, it's pretty cool. We have plain doors. You can just open them like that to reveal nothing. Why do we have nothing, you may ask? Because the set is hollow. Isn't that marvelous? It's hollow. There is nothing there. You can just open the doors from the back. And you just get these transparent pieces, and these are actually all stickered, so that is a little bit annoying if I do say so myself. I have to apply the sticker on my own, and I did mess it up, so I'm just not going to focus and show you guys all the crinkles, but you guys get the point, I assume. Where's the other half? I mean, it's like someone cut it with a clean butter knife. And just left us with half so it's very awkward in my opinion but from the inside we have a very nice little diorama with some chairs some plants some research elements i suppose cool to see you know and some flowers so it's always nice to get flowers in a lego set no matter how small of course and yeah it says when dinosaurs ruled the earth and essentially you're supposed to take this banner so let's do that and pretty much pretend like the T-Rex just ripped it right off. And you just throw it right on your T-Rex. Yay, that totally worked. Now on this side, we have a little laboratory which features a microscope, a little computer with an egg. This is all stickered, by the way. That's obviously a sticker because it's crooked. A lamp, a little element there being studied by the light. And on this side, a little place for the eggs to sit and marinate. But apart from that, not really the biggest fan of this thing. I think it's not complete and a little bit annoying in that sense because it is so expensive. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the set. 
right here we have a look at the Brachiosaurus Discovery set, which I think looks very cool. It is my favorite set out of the wave. Honestly, this dinosaur looks incredible. Look at that neck. Look at the body printing. It is gigantic, ginormous, yet very, very effective in my opinion. Taking a look at its head, I mean, you can open and close the mouth. This here is actually a herbivore of a dinosaur for a change, so that is very fun. And yep, you can close its mouth, it has a little bump at the top, so yeah, it adds more accuracy to the dinosaur itself. I mean, comparing it to the tree right next to it, I think it's perfectly scaled and sized, which is incredible to see. As for the tree, it is very large in height, and I think it is very effective as a result compared to the dinosaur, so I like how the proportions were kept consistent. If I were to just bring this down, we have a bunch of foliage all around, so various shades of green, light greens, darker greens, and a very nice tree trunk with some dark green, some light pink flowers, which I think worked very well in our favor. A little pink frog, and at the back, more pieces for the trunk there, which I think worked nicely. And yes, that's pretty much it for my thoughts on the tree. Next up, we have a look at the little Jeep Wrangler included, which I think is really, really cool in my opinion. Definitely one of my favorite cars out of the wave. My favorite being the lime green vehicle from the other set, but comparing them both together, I mean, it looks pretty cool. This one is pretty awesome because we have an open roof, so it is much more summery and nice. And the minifigs can actually fit in there nice and snug. This time we have Alan Grant, who's just going to sit right inside of there. So that worked. That is very nice. And lastly, we have the minifigures featuring John Hammond, which I think has an amazing torso there, a pretty nice face print, Ellie Sattler. Need I say more? I mean, she's obviously the exact same Ellie that we've received in the other set. And lastly, we have Alan Grant here featuring his face print. Not too bad. Torso at the back is cool. Front is also cool with a little bow tie. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the minifigures and for the set itself. Well guys, that pretty much brings a wrap to the video. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the entire wave here. And on that, hope you guys went on to enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments down below your ranking of the sets here. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And on that, I'll catch you guys in the next